This is number 17 from the 2024 Algebra 1 EOC. A part of an exponential function is graphed on the grid. Which statements are true about the domain and range of the part of the function shown? So if we're talking about domain and range, I know that domain, I'll just put the letter D, domain is wanting to know all the possible X values of a function or of a graph. And on a graph, that's going to look like left to right. Okay, so we're looking at the x-axis, so obviously that's left to right. The range is obviously going to be all the possible y-values of a function or a graph. And so the y-axis goes up and down, and so on the graph, if we're looking for the range, we're going to be looking, we'll just say, down to up. Okay, seeing what possible values do we have on that y-axis for that graph. Okay, so looking at the graph, if we start looking at the furthest left point, which is right here, okay, and we go down to the x-axis, we see that that's equal to positive two. Okay, so I'm gonna write this down over here. So here's my domain. So we're starting at positive two. And if we go to the farthest right point on the graph, we're going to get to this point, and if we go down to the x-axis, that is equal to positive 5. Okay, So basically the domain is all real numbers between and equal to positive 2 and positive 5. Now the way that I know that it could also be equal to 2 and 5 is that both of these points are filled in. Okay, If they were open circles, that would mean that they would not include those numbers. But because they're filled in, we know that it does include 2 and 5. So the domain is all real numbers, we'll say greater than or equal to 2, and less than or equal to 5. And so looking at the answer choices, we see that the second answer choice would be one of our answers. The domain is a set of all real numbers greater than or equal to 2, and less than or equal to five. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the range. Okay, so again, range is all the possible y values. We're looking down to up on the y-axis. So the furthest down point we have on the graph is right here, and on the y-axis, that is equal to positive one. So I'm gonna put r, and we're gonna start with one. And again, it's a filled in circle so we know that it does include positive one as well. Then if we go up, so the highest point on the graph is right here, and on the y-axis, that is equal to positive eight, okay? So we know that our range is between and equal to positive one and positive eight. So our answer choice should look like um, the range is a set of all real numbers greater than or equal to one, and less than or equal to eight. And it looks like this fourth answer choice um, is exactly what we're looking for. And it says select two correct answers and we have our two correct answers. And so that is how you do number 17.